Arithmetic Arithmetic is a branch of mathematics that deals with basic calculations involving numbers. It includes operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Learning arithmetic helps us to solve everyday problems and understand how numbers work together. Algebra Algebra is a branch of mathematics where you use letters and symbols to represent numbers and unknown values in equations. In algebra, we work with expressions and equations to understand relationships between numbers and find solutions to various mathematical questions. Geometry Geometry is a branch of mathematics that explores the properties and relationships of shapes and space. It involves studying angles, lines, circles, and other geometric figures to understand their characteristics and how they fit together. Geometry helps us solve problems related to measurement, design, and the spatial effects of the world around us. Trigonometry Trigonometry is a branch of math that focuses on the relationships between the angles and sides of triangles. It helps us understand and calculate things like distances, heights, and angles in various situations, such as in navigation, architecture, and physics. Trigonometry uses functions like sine, cosine, and tangent to solve these triangle-related problems. Calculus Calculus is a type of math that deals with changes and motion. Calculus involves concepts like derivatives, which describe rates of change and go from distance to speed to acceleration. Integrals, or antiderivatives, do the opposite and help us find the total amount of change. Statistics Statistics is a branch of math that involves collecting, organizing, and interpreting data to make informed decisions. It helps us understand and describe patterns in information, such as averages, trends, and probabilities. Statistics is used in various fields, like sports, science, and business, to draw meaningful conclusions from data. Number Theory Number theory is a branch of mathematics that explores the properties and relationships of whole numbers, like 1, 2, and 3. It involves studying patterns and properties of numbers to understand their behavior. Number theory is often like solving puzzles with whole numbers, looking for interesting and unique ways these numbers interact with each other. A simple example of number theory is the pattern in prime numbers of the tendency for prime gaps to become larger as we examine larger prime numbers. Prime gaps refer to the difference between consecutive prime numbers. While there is no predictable formula for the exact gap size, number theory helps us explain why, on average, the gaps tend to get larger as we look at higher prime numbers. Linear Algebra Linear algebra is a branch of mathematics that deals with lines, planes, and spaces using equations and matrices. It helps us solve systems of equations and understand transformations, like stretching or rotating shapes. Linear algebra is like a toolset for working with multiple variables and relationships in a coordinated way. Differential Equations Differential equations are a type of calculus that helps us understand how things change. They involve rates of change and show how a quantity depends on its own rate of change. The following latter problem is a classic example of a differential equation in physics. Imagine a ladder leaning against a wall and sliding down. The angle between the ladder and the ground changes as it falls. You can use this equation to figure out the speed the ladder falls at. Topology Topology is a branch of mathematics 
that deals with the properties of space that are preserved under continuous deformations, such as stretching, crumbling, and bending, but not tearing or gluing. Topology often includes the study of open sets, continuity, compactness, and various topological structures like manifolds. Logic Logic in math is a set of rules that helps us figure out what is true or false based on reasoning. It involves making clear and sensible arguments using statements that are either true or false and understanding how different statements relate to each other. Logic helps us make sure our math conclusions are sound and reliable. Mathematical Physics Mathematical physics is a branch of science where math is used to describe and understand the fundamental principles of the physical world. Scientists use mathematical equations and models to explore phenomena like motion, electricity, and light. Theory of Computation The theory of computation is a set of ideas that help us understand what computers can and cannot do. It explores how problems can be solved using algorithms, which are step-by-step -step instructions, and look at the limits of what can be achieved with different types of computational devices. It's like figuring out the rules and possibilities of how computers work and what they're capable of. Information Theory Information theory is a branch of study that focuses on how information is transmitted and processed. It helps us measure and understand the amount of information in a message, considering concepts like data comprehension. In simpler terms, it's like exploring the best way to send and receive information. An easy example of information theory is thinking about sending a message in secret code. Information theory helps us measure how much information is stored in the coded message and how efficiently it can be transmitted. Game theory. Game theory is like a way of thinking about how people make decisions when they interact with each other. It helps us understand strategic thinking and choices in situations where what one person decides can affect what others should do. An example of game theory is the prisoner's dilemma. Two individuals are arrested and accused of a crime. They are held in separate cells and cannot communicate. The authorities offer each prisoner a deal. If one stays silent while the other confesses, the one who confesses gets a reduced sentence, and the one who stays silent gets a harsher sentence. If both confess, they receive moderate sentences. If both stay silent, they both get lighter sentences. The dilemma arises because each prisoner must decide whether to trust the other or betray them for personal gain. Game theory analyzes the situation showing that the rational choice for each prisoner is to confess, even though cooperation, both staying silent, would lead to the better overall outcome. Leave a like if you want more videos like these.